We're with Daryl Bainan aboard the Offshore 650HT, the very first of this new model. Uh, Daryl, you sort of saw this from the very beginning, this boat, didn't you? Tell I, us a little bit about that. I did. I was working, helping making the trailers, and I seen this get built from the ground up. Um, just fell in love with it, had to have it, sold everything and bought it. <laughs> Couldn't resist. So our plan for today is just to go out and just have a little bit of a, a bit of a play out there and, and try out the boat. I think there might be a, still a little bit of slop left out there. And... Oh, that's fine. It'll cut through it, no problem. <laughs> and hopefully we can wet a line as well. Yes, looking forward to it. Great. So this boat is, is quite special in, in a lot of ways. Um, a very, very heavy, heavily built hull. Yes. What sort of a, a bottom have you got on this? We've got an 8mm bottom, we've got a 8mm trans, uh, we've got a 5mm floor, a 5mm gas tank which holds 200 litres, and 4mm sides, 4mm deck. Right. And uh, so basically from the chine down, there's a huge amount of weight which keeps it so stable. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I guess that contributes to the to the handling, which is pretty. pretty Absolutely, well, isn't it? yeah. Huge. So th th this is an offshore boat, and, and the, the brand name is Offshore as yes. well. Um, is that what appealed to you? It is. We do a lot of offshore fishing, and we just like to get to places kind of relatively quickly, mm -hmm. safely, and it does its job really well. Now this boat is, is rigged out for fishing, quite obviously. I mean, yes. we've got a we've got a fishing transom. We've got uh, we've got things like um, uh, yeah, tuna tubes. We've got, we've got rod holders for Africa. Oh, yeah. um, you know, it is all really well set up. Lots of storage as well. Yes. So, if you were to do a, a fishing day, a bit like we're going to do today, what, yes. what sort of thing would you you know? How would your day kind of pan out? Well, we'd probably start off in the harbour. We'd get some live bait. Then we'd probably shoot off to the islands. Uh, sometimes we'll go about 50 k's out, right. uh, out to the Makahini hours, right. and um, spend the day out there, going around the islands, have a stop, have a feed, have a little bit of a drink, um, good fish, yep. and then shoot back in the evening. Right, yeah. right. So, so it's, a, it's a lifestyle kind of a, a boat for you guys. You know, it is, really. yeah. Now I notice you've got quite a bit of space in the, in the forward cabin there, quite long berths. So would you consider spending overnight sort of stays on this boat? Oh absolutely, yes. We'd stay overnight. Very comfortable. 1.995 um, metres long, okay. and so you fit two guys in there, no, no worries. And you carry a bit of fresh water as well? We've got 30 litres of fresh water, yes. yes. Okay. Not just yet, we're only been in for a few minutes and uh, just a bit of film. So, what bait here fishing with John? You got soft bait on? <laughs> I've got soft bait on. Um, I can't tell you the exact colour because that would be letting away the secrets, but. Um, Very good. No, it's, it's a Z Man soft bait. Thank you. Um, unscented soft bait. Um, been what, very effective. What depth are we fishing? About 33 metres of depth presently. So, I've got uh, three quarters of an ounce. Uh, jig head on, it's getting down okay. Haven't had a bite yet, but this is only the second drop, so we remain hopeful. We 
Kultura. That's a good one. So very fishing oriented uh, transom area here. Nice sort of bait board here, it's, it's raised up so nice and easy to fill it. Pin your rod holes across the back. I do like the way that this opens all the way up so you've got a really big area. If you wanted to say you know, deal with a kingfish or something on board you could do that quite easily. I've got a sink here, I've got a drawer underneath, there's plenty of them. It's not quite, not going to rattle around, it's nice and uh, it's well, well in there. Underneath in the transom wall we've got a couple of uh, heavy duty batteries, two of them, 900 uh, CCA, yep, really uh, heavy duty batteries, you're not going to run out of oomph with this boat. It's got a big 16 inch Simrad uh, NSS Evo 3 sounder, so you know you can run that the whole day and not have to worry about it. Power, Mercury, uh, Pro XS, 200 horsepower V8, sounds fantastic. Heaps of oomph, we've got hydraulic steering as well which makes it very, very easy in terms of steering effort and of course you've got the digital throttle and shift so it's a piece of cake as far as changing in and out of gear goes. So the live bait tank is under the walkthrough transom, we have a nice little lift out transom door here, at the moment it's, uh, it's full of our quota of scallops, we're pretty lucky, uh, dive ladder on the outside, separate pump for the live bait tank, separate pumps again for the tuna tubes and of course a separate pump for the bilge as well. Nice full length deep side pockets either side, um, plenty big enough for dive bottles, you can get two or three along there, along each side, and under the floor there's another wet locker which will also accommodate a couple of dive bottles, so you know, if diving's your thing you've got plenty of space to, to pack stuff away. So offshore boats have used U-deck all over this vessel, uh, feels really nice on the feet, um, you know it's sort of a bit of a cushion on the feet as well, they've also used it on the combings and even on the foredeck so for a bit of non-slip, uh, looks great feels really nice and it's easy to clean as well. So the helm position's uh, pretty comfortable, nice comfortable seat, uh, it's adjustable in and out, it also has a bolster. I love the one piece screen here, the, the, the vision through the, through the forward screen is absolutely superb. We've got a single windscreen wiper on there to, to clear it should it get a bit of spray on there or you know on a, perhaps on a cold morning or something when you get a bit of, bit of condensation on the outside. Uh, but really the, the visibility is, is excellent, We've got sliding side windows and of course the hard top is open to the rear so you've got plenty of ventilation. So there's a fair bit of space in the uh, forward cabin, the berths are 1.95 metres long so you could stretch out, a tall man can stretch out in there quite happily. Um, underneath the infill is a provision for a, a toilet if you wish and there's a whole lot of storage underneath the bunks as well, as well as in the uh, the side shelves and there are built in drawers, in this case they've labelled first aid and flares but you could label them anything you like I guess but that seems like a sensible thing to me. Lovely 16 inch uh, NSS Sevo 3 Simrad unit here, um, does everything you, you want it to do, you can also run the Mercury, um, Mercury instruments etc through the display, it's set up to do that. Uh, we've got a Maxwell uh, winch and a Rockner anchor, Lenko trim tab, trim tab Simrad, Simrad VHF and a fusion stereo system for some sounds while you're enjoying your day out on the ocean. A feature of this boat is there are grab rails all over the place. We've got also got a nicely um, lined ceiling to the hard top, but everywhere you reach you've got somewhere to hold on to, which is really useful for an offshore type vessel like this is designed to be. So we've got lots of rod holders in this boat, not only for storing rods but also for fishing from, and that's what these ones that go through the combings are designed for. They're all angled correctly for trolling, so that if you want to use this boat for game fishing they're perfectly angled for that. Uh, you've also got the advantage of these three cup holders or sinker holders, whatever you want to call them, but they're quite handy, there's three each side. It's a nice little touch too, we've got a pair of, of drawers either side, you can use them for fishing tackle, you can use them for odds and ends, tools, whatever you like, but uh, quite handy, tucked away, and they're not going to fall out either rocket launcher the angle is pretty good, the, the rods don't hang too far over the cockpit so they don't get in your way when you're fishing. Uh, you've got floodlights up there as well, in fact it's well endowed with lights this boat. Uh, there's a tow point up there also should you want to tow someone or something. Um, we've also got underwater, underwater lights as well, uh, blue underwater lights so she's pretty, uh, pretty lit up at, uh, at night time. So that's offshore boat 650 HT. We've done with the boat today exactly what it's designed to do. We've been out for a bit of a fish, we've 
dive for a few scallops, uh, enjoyed a really nice day out on the water. So we're going to head back, hose the boat down, and we've had a great day on the water. John Ankleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.